of the most destructive Live. hurricanes ever recorded in the Horrific. And President Biden has described the hurricane Melton. as a matter of life and death. Our reporter Steve Nibbs has more. An evacuation siren on the streets USA. of Reddington Shores in Florida. Debris is Weather. still piled up after storm the UK. two weeks ago. And now people are being told they have to leave again. Time's down there. Next day's the 9th of October. Tuesday morning, guys. About Wednesday morning, 2024. Hurricane Milton approaches. Many are heading to safety as authorities warn that storm surges could be up to 15 feet. With warnings that if you stay when told to leave... You may not survive. This is you can rebuild homes, horrific. You can rebuild no one's going to be there for it. No one's staying there this time. It's not Hurricane Helene. It's not Hurricane Helene. It's a monster hurricane. It's a killer hurricane. Hurricane Milton is intensifying now at Category 5 with speeds around 165 miles per hour. It might be 185 miles per hour it hits the um, west coast of Florida. Flew through it yesterday and felt its power. Too powerful for them. This is mad. This is mad. On the ground, residents are doing what they can to protect their properties before they leave. But there's real fear here. Apprehensive, anxious, really anxious. We have uh, two young kids. There won't be anything left. There won't be anything left standing. It's got uh, tornadoes, F3s, F4 tornadoes in it. The front of it. Over 50 counties are now under a state of emergency, but not everyone. He's deciding to flee. Yeah, what fools? So far going Tommy Hall and his family live near Venice Beach and they've chosen to weather the incoming storm. We got gas, food, two generators, portable air conditions to push around to go in the room, so I, I think we might do okay. But You'll be dead, mate. I'll be buried. You'll be buried in the cemetery in tomorrow. Or in a few days' time. He's dropped 50 millibars in 10 hours. No answer, her, no answer, whether man to go down there. Break down on air because of fears of what's to come. Everything that's going on really does affect you emotionally. Um, of course it does. It's going to destroy you know, everything you take for, for, for granted. Of, um, Nothing will be the same after this hurricane hits for order. Nothing will be the same. Through these type of emergencies, I think it's become uh, certainly not the same non-alarmist style it was before. I am alarmed. Milton's strength has already brought flooding along the Mexican coast and downed power lines. It's worse than Hurricane Katrina. But the US is bracing itself for much worse, with officials saying that Milton has the potential to be one of the most destructive hurricanes on record. When and I predicted it later earlier this year, guys. Steve 1st of March 2024. No joke. It's on my Let's have a look in a little more detail. I predicted Cat 5, Cat 6 hurricane. Well, I'm best, the best man in the, best the, man in the, the universe. Mexico, no joke. Where warm waters in the sea have helped it become a dangerous Category 5 storm. It's expected to make landfall in the next 24 hours. And so far, Milton has already reached a maximum wind speed of 165 miles an hour. It's brushed past Mexico where it caused coastal flooding. And the intensity of the storm can be seen in these pictures from space. You can see the eye of the storm here as it heads towards the Florida Peninsula. Our correspondent, Gordon Carrera, is in Tampa, one of the areas expected to be worst affected. A lot of people would have been there. Notice this is taking the story region. away from um, Gordon sent us this Israel week. and uh, Here in Tampa, Ukraine now. A sense of time running out ahead of Milton. I think this, I knew this happened, now, guys. I did predict this. Arrival, the streets in the city have been eerily quiet. That's left over from Hurricane Helene in the background there, guys, just to let you know. Who we have seen debris have been preparing their homes or their offices uh, for the storm, but boarding things up, maybe moving things around. I think one of the things that's quite shocking is just, as you can see around me, the devastation which is still here from Hurricane Helene, which hit two weeks ago. And there's an enormous amount of debris around, particularly where I am wow. in Tampa. And the concern is that the massive surge, which will come with Milton, could lift up all this debris, move it around, cause even more damage. And the fear is that the surge with Milton could be um, 12 feet or perhaps even more high compared to about half that or less with Helene. So could be very significant indeed. There's a lot of work going on already to think about how the community will respond afterwards. But first of all, they've got to get through that storm 
which is now just really hours away from arriving here. Gordon Carrera and other colleagues in the United States and in Mexico fitting into a BBC Live page with constant updates. Uh, we heard from one eyewitness on the programme a short time ago who said as, as he was trying to get out, as he was trying to evacuate with his family, he couldn't believe the number of people, literally hundreds of thousands of people on the freeways trying to get to safety. Wow. It's eight minutes past seven. Yeah. Sally has more. But I'm a guessing, guys. Thank you, John. Well, oh, yeah. Office, I hope you like this video. Please, please subscribe to Sean Slam Gems on the force be with your eyes. We have a lot of news stories about this for the next two to four days. It's going to be the most important news story of the week. More important than the war going on in Ukraine and more important than the war going on in Israel. I hope you like this video. Please subscribe to Sean Slam Gems on the force be with your eyes. Can't spot the news for me. We, the news is here. This is my friend Sparky and Jim Baby Friday, 3 to 5 p.m. I tier for 18. So here's Ratio Friday. This is my friend Shane Lyle, in the Lou, every Friday at 10 to 12 p.m. on So Hills Ratio Show every Friday. And this is my friend John on Last Show every Sunday at 9 to 12 p.m. live on the Woking Ratio on Last Show every Sunday. This is serious hot stuff. He's Christ on Sanchez. Maybe.